A leading researcher in the study of psychopathy is Dr. Robert Hare, a psychologist at the University of British Columbia. Dr. Hare has spent much of his career in a search to identify and understand the behavioral characteristics and personality traits of the psychopath. His recent book, Without Conscience, summarizes this research. We'll we can describe a psychopath or psychopathy as a, as a clinical construct uh, characterized by a cluster of uh, characteristics and features. And the cluster would include interpersonal characteristics, how we deal with other people, how the individual interacts with somebody else, affective characteristics, um, feelings, emotions, and uh, uh, other behaviors, including uh, socially deviant behaviors. Psychopaths are often described as callous, impulsive, manipulative, glib, egocentric, predatory, grandiose, and lacking empathy and emotional affect. In the early 1980s, Hare and his colleagues developed a psychometric test, now known as the Psychopathy Checklist Revised. Consisting of a 20-item rating scale, the checklist measures such things as glibness, superficial charm, conning manipulative behavior, lack of remorse or guilt, shallow affect, callousness, lack of empathy, impulsiveness. Each item is scored on the basis of explicit criteria contained in the manual. Possible scores on the scale range from 0 to 40. For the average person, a typical score would be 5. Anyone with a score of 30 or above would be considered a psychopath. I'm going to start with asking you some questions about your behavior when you were young. Uh, did you ever do anything? Did you ever get in trouble at school? To assess a subject, a trained clinician integrates information from a person's file and other collateral data. It is estimated that about 1% of the population may have the disorder. Many, like Pat Frizzell, imprisoned for violent crimes, are denied parole. They are three times more likely to reoffend, and four times more likely to violently reoffend. The checklist is widely used around the world and has proven both reliable and valid as a predictor of criminal and violent behavior. Because psychopaths are high risk for breaking the law, many end up in jail. Of inmates serving sentences for violent crimes, about 20% score high on the psychopathy checklist. It is a disturbing fact, however, that the great majority of psychopaths are out in the real world undetected. They live on the narrow margins of the law, often engaging in cold-blooded and predatory behavior. These individuals cause incalculable damage to other people. 